we have just seen Kofi versus Dolph Ziggler and reactions to that match well I felt like it started off uh, quite slow we had Caitlin of course uh, alongside Dolph as well as Vicky Guerrero and Caitlin sent away from the ringside that's what I remember about the start of it and Dolph also thrown out of the ring quite early not always a great sign I think uh, but other than that a lot of holes on the mat uh, a couple of sleepers involved and Dolph comes out of it retaining that belt. Yeah, it was uh, not the greatest of matches, but probably not the worst of matches. Uh, a lot of kind of grand mat wrestling, and then uh, a couple of false finishes here and there over and back, and uh, trying each other's moves out. But uh, in the end, uh, Dolph hits the zigzag for the one, two, three, and retains. So uh, good stuff out of Dolph, and I think uh, it's a good thing that he retained. I did expect it to be a bit more frantic and I thought there'd be a bit more high flying on the part of Kofi Kingston but like you say this match very ground based and as we just mentioned he led uh, Dolph Ziggler in control for a lot of this match I thought it was a good uh, strong outcome for him I mean he got the definitive 1-2-3 pin a little bit of interference from Vicky Guerrero but overall I think quite a good match. Yeah, not the worst, as we said. Uh, but, again, not the greatest. I mean, you know, this one's been going on for quite a while. And uh, it's a bit over and back. Does anyone really care? Probably not. Um, but, yeah, it was what it was. And uh, Dolph uh, can now go ahead with uh, the other two and build some sort of uh, relationship storyline or whatnot. But he's still a champ. Uh, so... Props to DZ for delivering and uh, adios to Kofi, no belt for you. Night of Champions is going on right now, we're watching it and indeed CM Punk just took on Big Show. To be honest with you, we predicted beforehand it would be all kicks and indeed a lot of them from CM Punk on Big Show. Uh, basically a, a lot of uh, selling on the part of CM Punk and uh, we ended up with a knockout punch and a not very interesting match that had Big Show going over. Yep, folks, uh, the hometown hero CM Punk goes down uh, in his native Chicago at Night of Champions, a match that really wasn't going to deliver much anyway and didn't really in the end. But uh, Big Show takes the win with a knockout punch and... Uh, at least we've got those two out of the way. Night of Champions live here on Justin and indeed new United States champion. This is exactly what I was hoping to see in this one. Uh, I'm looking forward to Daniel Bryan's reign. The match itself, well, a bit of interference from Alex Riley. Uh, a lot of attempted label locks and indeed... Uh, I think a uh, slow enough to medium pace one uh, and I believe uh, it delivered for me at least with the payoff of Daniel getting that build. Yeah I think it uh, looks like a, it's a big big night for Daniel Bryan. I mean I'm sure he's dreamed for many of years of holding any title in the, in the WWE and uh, especially a title that's kind of prestigious like the US title and the history it's had. Uh, even though it wasn't originally a WWE title, but still has a lot of significance and a lot of great US title holders over the years. So for Daniel Bryan uh, to put that one around his waist, I'm sure it's an emotional enough night for him and uh, probably a dream fulfilled. We're watching this live and reacting and indeed at this point we don't know whether The Miz is going to cash in that money in the bank. It might happen later on in the card but The Miz is uh, I think now going to have to I suppose rely on that briefcase to continue to I think keep that gimmick over and indeed uh, maybe a few more attempts perhaps tonight perhaps on upcoming TV but where for The Miz now is a time for World Championship territory maybe Daniel Bryan the new uh, guy heading up that mid card and maybe The Miz on to bigger and better things yeah I think uh, The Miz doesn't really need to have the title uh, anymore once he's got that money in the bank and um yeah, bigger and better things. I don't think uh, they're going to drop the ball. The unified 
Divas champion, I think they put on screen there. So it looks like going forward that maybe that Divas belt is going to be the new women's title. Yeah, I am. Um, I think as we spoke about in the show earlier, the Diva tag on the Diva title makes sense. And uh, to stick with that name makes sense. And the belt looks pretty awful, but we get over that. And uh, yeah, Michelle McCool, PWI's... Uh, Number one female wrestler of the year uh, walks out of Night of Champions as uh, the first and uh, the only uh, unified Divas champion. So, uh, good, strong match, I think. A uh, lot of good uh, little spot moves from both and uh, a bit of interference from the outside, but McCool in the end taking the victory, and uh, yeah, I think it was well deserved. Yeah, I enjoyed this one. I thought both of those girls had a lot to do. And indeed, I think Melina, uh, again, taking that loss. Not a clean loss, uh, so no no definitive end to that. And I'd expect to see Melina and Michelle again, uh, perhaps at Hell in a Cell. Will they do a women's match, Hell in a Cell? I think Rev, one of our callers, uh, I think you'd like to see that, would you? be pretty good. I mean, like, you could have hard for a women's match in a cage. I haven't seen one of those in probably 20 years since Moolah wrestled. Yeah, it's always it's something I've enjoyed. I think the one that sticks out in memory, I think there was a TNA pay-per-view that had Gail Kim and uh, Jackie in a steel cage. Uh, so yeah, I remember that. I enjoyed that one. But uh, Rev, overall, you've seen some matches. Do you think this is a good pay-per-view? Do you think it's uh, delivering tonight? Uh, it started out quite slow. The Mick Daniel Bryan match kind of picked it up. And, I mean, I don't like to see the Divas wrestle. I just rather to see the Divas. And I really are <laughs> we, you know, like the six-pack challenge. I really don't expect that to be any good. Kane has just defeated The Undertaker, a tombstone pile driver, and a 1 2 3 clean uh, in the center of the ring. And that leads Kane uh, to be the man retaining that World Heavyweight Championship. Now, this match went all over the place. You could have called it a falls count anywhere. Uh, they went up by the Titan Tron, and indeed, uh, all around the audience and crowd area. And they took it everywhere. Exactly what I was hoping for uh, an aggressive uh, fight and uh, a match that really did uh, come across as believable. Yeah, we saw uh, choke slams, we saw uh, reversals of that uh, tombstone pile driver towards the end with Taker uh, trying to put it on and Kane putting the reversal on it and uh, nailing Taker for the 1 2 3 and to retain the world heavyweight championship. I definitely didn't see this one coming. I'm sure Kane uh, is a happy man leaving the arena tonight and uh, it's a big win and big things especially these days for uh, for Kane. A very nice gesture for Undertaker to put him over like that and maybe it's time that Undertaker is going to do that more and you know it means a lot to a guy like Kane who of course has struggled to maybe stay on top and quite often seen as a bit of a mid card and an after thought uh, you know he just hasn't been there now he's back with that title and successfully retaining it at night of champions I think is, is, is the best uh, put over you can uh, possibly get so I think a uh, good match and of course anything Taker is involved in usually turns out to be uh, halfway decent you never quite can say he's been in a poor match and of course a mark uh, of how great a performer he is so uh, good news for Kane going forward and uh, I think there's plenty of time to give the belt to Taker they could probably do it at the next